Hey folks, this is Marcel with the tech writing team, and I've got a problem that I'd like to show you how I fix it. Uh, in this case, the issue is that I've got a merge request that is too big to review in merge in one go. So this merge request has 100 files, 500 lines being changed because it's it's uh, a bulk update, basically fixing the alignment of a whole bunch of lists. And while it's, it's easy to scan through, it's still, this is still too big for, to ask one person to review in one go. So uh, just let me show you how I use some simple Git commands to split this up by directory. Um, let's switch to, uh, I use VS code. I'll use the terminal here and let me get the branch name. And the first thing to notice is that I've got three merge requests here, uh, three commits, which is fine, but I find it easier to manage if I just start working with one commit. So the first thing I'm going to do is do an interactive rebase to squash that down. There are three commits, so let's squash those three. We can use F, which is like squash, but it it doesn't, it uses the same commit message as the first one and just makes it really easy. So those last two commits are going to get squashed into the first one. Do a log. And now we've just got one commit message. Should be fine. The next step is going to be uh, getting all the files kind of ready for um, their new, uh, new merge request. And I'm going to do that by doing a soft reset. And what this does is it removes kind of the previous commit, but keeps the files. That's what the soft means. If you did it hard, it would completely delete the commit. Soft gets rid of the commit message, but keeps the file. So if I do a status, you'll be able to see that all the files are still there. But the commit is now gone. And because they're green, if I were to do a git commit right now, all of those would go into the new commit, which is not actually what I want. I want to select these files uh, by directory. So I'll also reset all those files. And just a dot will do everything in this directory. And now we're ready to go. First thing I want to do is go back to master. All those files will still be there. They'll still be waiting for me for master, but I'll be able to create a new branch. So we're fixing nesting one. And if I look at the merge request, uh, what's a good directory to start with? Administration, looking through here, doesn't have too many fixes. That's fine. API, we can throw that in. Uh, architecture has quite a lot of files, so we'll skip that. And then let's say I should be able to add CI. And I think that'll be enough for one merge request. So the trick here is to go into administration and do git add dot. And that's going to only add things in administration. And a status should show that it's only administration docs because, oh, let me go back one and show that again. So only administration docs are now added. We also said API should be fine. So I'll go into API, add that one. Go back and go into CI and add those. And now what does the size look like? I think that's a, a reasonable size for a bulk kind of cleanup merge request. And since they're green, I can just commit right there and say fix list indentation in three directories. So fix indentation in administration, 
CI and API directories. If you've got like a coloring like I do, it's going to complain, like it's going to still show yellow because all those other files are still there waiting, but it's fine right now. And I can do, uh, I can now push the changes with this commit. I'll take a second. If this takes a long time, I'll, I'll probably trim it out of the video. All right, that should be ready to go. Let's create the merge request. I won't bother filling all the details, but I'll do that after this video, but I can assign it to me. Give it a milestone. Give it the docs label. And we've got administration, API, and CI. All the changes are there. 22 files, 57, I think, for a bulk cleanup. That should be small enough to review. Coming back, we've still got all these files ready to roll, though. So we're going to go back to master. This is important. Uh, if you If you create a new branch, from the current branch, the same commit will get repeated in the next one. So we'll just create a new branch from master number two. And what should we do next? We've got architecture development. Maybe let's do user. So we'll go user. And I noticed that update has a really big one in there. So let's not do that just yet. Let's do maybe tutorials. Close some of these. Just double check. Tutorials had how much? Yeah, tutorials is fine. We can throw in install. Yeah, let's do those. So, tutorials, go to install. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think that, that'll be pre pretty good. That's uh, 21 files. Uh, no, not add. We want to commit those. More directories. Was this was user tutorials and install directories. That that new commit should be there. The old commit is not. Let me just repeat the process. Create another merge request, and it only takes. Oh, well, once you get going, it only probably takes about a minute or two per merge request. We'll let this one go and finish this one off just to show. All right, let's create the next merge request. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about it just now. We can fill out all the details after the merge request is, after all the merge requests are ready to roll. There we go, install tutorials and user. Again, that's 21 files, 56 lines. Again, should be easy enough to review. Uh, the last little trick is that when you are close to the end and you've got assorted little files left, but I'm not. I won't do it now. I, I'll probably have to still go 
one more deeper. Um, but if at this stage, if if you're ready for the last bit, you don't have to go into the directories. You can just do a git add dot, and that'll catch everything that's remaining for your last merge request. And that's it. And it's just a couple simple commands. And that's a, a quick way to break up a merge request to make it easier to review. All right, hope that helps. Good luck.